Hey everybody, I'm Jody Ganzik. Welcome back to Lighting Answers. It's the fourth and final installment of our mini-series all about light and color. We've talked in the past in this series about colored light, literally, colored lights. Uh, things like the Philips Hue bulb that's uh, behind me and the one in my pocket. And we've talked about pigment, we've talked about paint, we've talked about you know physical colored objects, cloth, things like that. Um, and how those interact also with various colors of light, or do they not? Uh, and I've talked about kind of the how and the why of why I've done certain things in my own space here with the bold red feature walls and the blue guest bath, which are not the only areas that I've designed, but simply the only areas I have shown you thus far. So now we're going to talk a little bit about color temperature. It's the final element. It's the most probably confusing, I think. Uh, not to me, but to the average consumer, because you'll, you'll say color temperature to the average person on the street, and they'll think, well, it's how hot it is, right? The color's really hot. It's red. It's, it's really, it's smoking. You know, I want, I want that person with that red outfit on. They, they just look hot, right? Well, that's not necessarily the truth. In fact, warmer colors, reds, oranges, gold, yellow, are actually lower on the color temperature scale. And more bluish colors, as we really get into white, uh, white being a warmer white in terms of hotter color temperature uh, in terms of numbers that's actually towards the blue scale which is of course confusing to everyone so let's actually give you a little bit of a demo and I'm not going to give it here I mean if I could power this bulb through my hand and just imagine that I could just produce energy in this bulb it would be amazing but I have the flood bulb version of this right behind there, door number one, uh, in the uh, behind the entertainment center. So, in the similar app that I was showing you before, this uh, sort of color changing app. This is not an official app from Philips, but it's, it works with the uh, the Philips Hue bulbs. You can go from this kind of color spectrum, where I can shift it from you know green to red to purple and blue and all these different areas in pretty much real time and change the you know the intensity as well but I can also go to color temperature and so we're going on the left from more of a warm yellowish kind of orangish to more of a blue white and you're saying to me well why does this matter well these companies want you to believe that it matters and actually studies have been done we we talked about this on the first episode way back, you know, like six episodes ago, whatever it was, um, about color temperature. They have little monitor programs that will change the color temperature of your screen. So like when it's nighttime, your eyes, your brain will start to think it's time to go to bed because it's getting warmer. Now, why is this? Well, the great ball of fire in the sky, that is the sun, um, in general, as we all know, when it, the sun goes down, it gets warmer in color goes from white to yellow to orange to really almost reddish and then of course it sets um, and depending on where you are and the clouds it creates wonderful landscape so humans have been accustomed to this for what however many thousands zillions of years that we've been on this planet and that's simply our circadian rhythms when it's orangey glow it's time for sleep when it's really bright when it's almost a bluish white we are awake we are alert it's the middle of the day so the manufacturers of these bulbs, such as Philips and their competitor LifeX and the ones that are to come, and of course many others, because you'll hear, uh, you'll hear people like me talking about color temperature. Um, this happened especially when we got into the um, compact fluorescent game, you know, over a decade ago. Uh, God, that was almost two decades ago at this point. And now in the LED game, you have to know, well, what kind of light do you want? Do you want warm white? Do you want soft white? Do you want daylight white? Do you want you're really awake light i mean what do you what do you white i mean what do you and people just say i just want a light bulb well if you get these fancy bulbs you can get some extra features in them such as changing the color temperature so let's just give you a demo of that let's just go and change the color temperature i'm just going to kind of reset it here and we'll go all the way to this spectrum and you'll see that it is basically um, kind of really orangey and 
we had to adjust this. I'm going to kind of just adjust this a little, come almost back there. Uh, this is not perfectly where it was. We had to adjust this specifically um, to make it seem that this light was perfectly matched in terms of to the other flood bulbs that I'm using, the other LED bulbs that I'm using in the great room. Because to my eye, to most human eyes, a different color temperature setting on this, um, the control for the bulb, actually looks correct to the human eye, but when we put it on the camera, and all these digital cameras are differently um, different, uh, this is an iPhone 5S, and uh, it was off, so I had to then reset it to be something that would be look that would be uniform across all of them, just because because I care about my audience. Anyhow. So if we go from uh, orange over here and then we take this over to kind of the middle, you see it getting more white, definitely compared with the other uh, lamps, the other uplight cans, if you will, in the room, which are a 2700K, which is a warm white LED. There actually the product is a flood bulb at 40 degree flood, if you really need to know that. Um, it is a product from the company called TCP, Nothing to do with the internet protocol if you geeks are watching. Anyhow, and they make tremendously fantastic um, bulbs. They don't actually flicker, they don't cause any stair step dimming. The only flicker that you saw was uh, LEDs get interrupted sometimes by uh, home automation signals and that's why that was. So anyways, back to this, you're terribly confused at this point. So we're gonna see this and uh, if we keep going to the right, it's gonna get more and more and more blue. In effect and that is about as blue as it gets and now on your display on your what you're watching you're actually probably seeing it being oh, not very very blue but you're definitely seeing it being more blue than I am because of course we all perceive things differently and human eyes perceive things differently um, quite a bit than digital camera sensors so then you would say well you get this unmatched light well and I'm gonna play the same game uh, actually, I'm not because I can actually reset this as to one of my um, profiles to prevent me from having to go through all this effort all the time and trying to match things that I've created in my own palette and my own home automation system to basically be um, a small color palette plus warm white. And in this case, I've color matched it exactly to the camera. So what you'll see is it'll basically fade back to what it should be that it will match uh, across all of the spectrum. So why even bother with that? Why bother with warm white and cool white and so forth? Well, the manufacturers, of course, LifeX, Philips, and the ones that are to come would, of course, love for you to buy these bulbs. And that's why the Philips doesn't render actual colors in terms of red, green, blue, yellow, you know, and so forth that I talked about on the last episode. They don't render colors very well because they added this whole thing, this game of having color temperature. So Philips would love for you to buy these bulbs at $60 a bulb and replace everything in your house. Do you know how much that would be? We'll probably put it up here on the screen, but it would be hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars for light bulbs. No one, is, no one in their right mind is gonna do that. So this, this was initially targeted at the very, very well-to-do people. I only bought a set because I saved up for a certain amount of months. I got it. I said I want to have it so that I could review it, talk to you guys about it. But it really is overkill. It's over the top. And it, the bulb, which I'll go into more later on kind of my dimming episode, doesn't even do what it's supposed to do. And it's just ridiculous. Uh, LifeX, uh, which is their bulb, I haven't reviewed yet. It's more expensive than the Philips bulb um, per bulb, but you don't have to buy the whole pack. You know, the Philips, you got to buy three of these bulbs and a hub. And the thing is 200 bucks. LifeX, you can buy them and they're $100 a bulb. You don't have to buy the whole pack, but it's still $100 per bulb. It's very, very expensive. LifeX, you can still do the same thing. You can do colors, a whole spectrum of, you know, the rainbow of colors. And you can also do color temperatures all the way from your RNG, um, the lower number, you know, 2500, 2300K, K stands for Kelvin, up to, you know, 5000 Kelvin, which is more on your blue and your really bright white. The sun at daylight, at, at middle of the day, is actually putting out a lot of blue. 
Um, and that's part of um, what we perceive as we're awake, we're alert. That's um, various light recipes, as Phillips would call them, have uh, been predefined if you decide to buy these bulbs. You could say, I want the one that I have to study, so I need to be alert, I need to be awake, I need to always be totally tuned into what I'm doing. Or I need to start thinking about it's time for sleeping. It's this. It's a sleeping hour. Who calls it that? I just made that up. That's totally weird. Uh, anyways, it's time for bed, um, and you're going to change your lights to more of a, a warm tone. And you can do all kinds of tricks with these Philips bulbs. You can tie them into IFTTT, which is that internet automation thing uh, that a lot of geeks love, but I think it's overkill. But anyways, uh, so that's um, that's a little bit about color temperature. There's a lot more that we could really go into very, very in-depth. There's a lot more theory behind it. You could even look it up on Wikipedia if you like. But the basics are lower number, it's more yellow. Higher number, it's more blue. And somewhere in the middle, it's very, very, very white. And uh, I'll go into more of that in uh, our next episode where we're going to talk about different types of bulbs um, as we get kind of more generalized. Um, through the series, we have to talk about color temperature when we get back to regular LED lights because uh, they, well, they, they come in different color temperatures. So that's a little bit about it. You can see that uh, I use warm white because I think it's great for the home. It's very pleasing. And when you are in the evening, you know, it's time to think about going to sleep. I would say it's probably about this time, time to end the episode. So this has been the four-part series all about light and color and the interplay of both. Now you know a little bit about everything to do with light and color, including that mystery topic, color temperature. And uh, it can be very important depending on your needs and your use. So remember to support us on Patreon. It's a way of contributing to the show kind of on a regular basis. A dollar here, 50 cents there. Maybe you want to donate five grand. That's awesome. We'll just uh, get rid of all the ads and we'll, we'll send you lots of uh, love letters. Anyways, uh, you can do that at uh, patreon.com slash lighting answers. You can get us at questions at answers .lighting. Send me your questions, your hate mail, your whatever you want to send, and we'll get back to you uh, probably on an upcoming episode. Social media, we're all over that. Subscribe on YouTube so you get all the different episodes. And of course, share the episodes, send them to your friends. Write the address down, put it in an envelope, send it off like they did last century. Something like that. So outside of that, that is it for the mini-series. In the next, next episode, we will talk about some specialty uh, lamps, not just general LED bulbs. We'll get into kind of flood bulbs and those little MR16s that you kind of push in and twist and different uh, specialty bulbs and how they're different and uh, how, well, they're not the same. That's why they're different. Okay, that's enough for this episode. I'm Joe Deganzik. I've been giving you lighting answers, and I'll see you next time.